to another vlog. Okay, so I think we're about to do another spend the weekend with me per usual. I'm filming on the weekends. Uh, you guys, I made a new friend and we're going to dinner tonight. So on tonight's agenda, Friday night, it's like it's like five o'clock right now on Friday night. I had a great day at work. I had a great week. It was a little bit shorter this time because uh, I also took Tuesday off after getting back in town from DC. Speaking of getting back in town, y'all, I got my new bed set up. And I haven't picked up this camera since I got back. So it's nice to be filming again. But tonight, yeah, we're going to dinner. And I'm super excited to like put on a cute outfit, do my makeup, and get to dinner. I made a new friend from TikTok. So we're about to meet up for dinner. And I was super, super, super excited. I'm just a little low energy because, like, yeah, I had a good day at work. But for some reason, I am so sleepy. Like, I cannot explain it today. But I'm still going to go. Still going to have a good time. And yeah, I think I might curl my ponytail because it's a little tired. Um, or maybe I'm just tired of looking at it like this. I think I'm going to put some beach waves in it and just have it be like a voluminous ponytail. So we'll see what I end up wearing, how I end up looking. But let's go to dinner. All right, this is the new bed. I am absolutely geeked about this. It is gorgeous. Uh, and that's how the nightstand looks next to it. I am absolutely in love with this. The look is so clean, so modern, and I feel like it really elevates the room, so I'm very happy. And then the table looks so beautiful next to the bed. Like, that table is everything I could ask for, so I'm super happy with it. I've been sleeping in it since Tuesday, and boy, it's so much better than my old bed, like, y'all. That's why I'm so sleepy right now, because of this bed. I'm pretty much ready. I'm going to show you guys my outfit. Uh, I sat on or over by my window to get ready, because I needed, like, outfit advice, so I jumped on TikTok Live and asked them ask y'all because y'all the same people i'll be forgetting uh ask y'all what i should wear and y'all really help me so thank you for that i love y'all anyways let me show y'all my outfit before i head out this is that shirt from last week the princess polly one again if you want anything for princess polly or this shirt you can use code 20aw for 20 percent off and then these cargos are from zara i love them um i got them a few months back I washed them and I love the way they look after I put them in a the dryer. And then I'm just wearing my Yeezy 700s. I think they're in the colorway geode. Uh, I'm wearing all gray, but I think it's super cute. And then let me grab the bag to show y'all, but it's gonna be no surprise. It's the pillow tabby. I'm just wearing it as a handbag instead. This is what we're looking like with the bag. I'm keeping it pretty muted tonight. It's pretty warm outside, but I run really cold. I know I'm gonna get really cold in the restaurant. So I went ahead and wear long sleeves. Absolutely love this bag and I especially love it when I can wear it like this. It's so adorable. So let's get on out of here and go to dinner. Walking over um, to dinner because it's like super close and I don't feel the need to ever get my car out if I'm going where I'm going in the area. So I'm like speed walking because she's already there. She told me she was going to be late because of traffic, but she ended up getting there like two minutes ago. So I'm like trying to hurry up. One of my favorite restaurants over in this little area. Is that Asian spot that I always go to like every single time I come outside almost. Um, so I'm trying to like hurry up because she's waiting on me. over but i ended up going to ulta because somebody on tiktok dm me one of these under eye products for some bags so i trusted her recommendation i just went in there and spent like 50 dollars on this one product um because dinner was over here at kuma and then ulta is like right behind me so i just went over there and bought this and now i'm walking back home to get back to my juju we're about to watch some power and we're probably gonna call it a night but i kind of want to go to the grocery store because i want some snacks but anyways let's just go home second thought i am still going home i'm about to pull up at the creed real quick but i'm about to grab juno and just let him come out here and walk around because there's a lot of people out right now 
and I know he would love to see some people and get some socialization in because he's been in the house kind of all day so Fridays when I go out I kind of feel bad for him even though I don't really be going out I just be feeling bad for him when I leave him at home so I'm about to grab him we'll come back out here and walk around it's like so warm outside it's like 84 degrees right now at night so I know he's gonna love this so let's go get him and come back all right I got the baby now we're about to go for a walk I'm not gonna bring my camera because I'm gonna listen to some music I also changed my little outfit I have on an Aritzia zip up that I got in Georgetown and then my pink TNA sweat shorts so we're about to go for a little walk and then I will hit y'all when I get back all right Juno and I we made it back inside dinner went amazing uh I really liked her she was honestly amazing um she came to Ulta with me she was great i um, looking forward to hanging out with her again but yeah I'm just sitting here at the island just chilling I had one drink at dinner and I'm like I don't know um I told y'all I'm a lightweight but yeah I'm just sitting here I may go down to the court read court read to the courtyard to read my book <laughs> but it's going on 10 o'clock right now so it looks like I'm just about to watch ghost and then go to bed so yeah I don't know what we're doing this weekend I guess we'll figure it out you know I just be winging it shopping and it's whatever um uh, maybe we'll do an activity but for the most part I know I need to get that dresser we will figure it out and until tomorrow I'll see y'all hey happy saturday all right so it's like 10 a.m uh i'm so sleepy like oh my gosh i'm so sleepy but i have some stuff to do because i'm not even gonna show y'all my closet because you know what i will i'll show y'all my closet it looks crazy uh i need to get a dresser i've been talking about this dresser for weeks now still haven't done it so i have to do that today let me show y'all my closet <laughs> it's looking like who done it and why um Y'all know I showed y'all my bed, but my old bed has storage drawers. And I needed a place to put the drawers, so I put them in the closet. Why have I been living out of these drawers? Well, not really, because I haven't really been wearing the stuff in the drawers. i just been wearing stuff and putting it in the drawers as if. Don't ask, okay? And then that dresser over there, don't ask. But we about to fix it up today. Um, so I'm about to get a dresser for all these clothes. Just don't look at that, okay? I'm going to close that. I have to do something with those clothes because it's been bothering me. It's been like that since Monday and now it's Saturday so we have to do something about it. It didn't start off like that. It honestly got like that yesterday when I was trying to pick an outfit for dinner. But yeah. Uh, let me show you my outfit and let's get out of here. The noise in the background was Octonauts playing because Juno's staying home and I always have to put him on a little bit of entertainment. But I muted that so I could show you my outfit. He loves Octonauts. I don't quite know why but he really likes this show, so. Um, anyways, I have on my Aritzia TNA black set. This is the Cozy Boyfriend crew neck and then the matching pants. I'm pretty much obsessed with this set and every other set from there. Of course, I got my Coach Pillow tabby because I didn't feel like unpacking it. I wore it to dinner last night, so we're wearing that and it's black. And then I have on my Nike Vomeros from Georgetown when I pick these up. I I'm gonna wear these off the bone, y'all. Like these shoes are so cute to me like oh my gosh i might even get another pair but yeah we're doing all black again it's pretty rainy today um it's not really rainy it's drizzly it rained last night so gotta stay cozy gotta stay warm um but yeah let's go ahead and get out of here i one of the best parking spots it's like right by the door too geeked about that oh my stanley i didn't know i left it in here i was actually looking for it last night oh stanley water be so good at night time y'all let's go that's a cool color also I want to get my hair braided so I need to hit up my braider to see if she has anything open low key for tomorrow but I kind of want to stay in the house tomorrow like I don't want to go anywhere I don't know why I'm so like drained the running joke is that it's my new bed got me like this sleepy but it probably is because when i tell you i've been knocked out every single night and oversleeping every single morning because that bed feels so freaking good but yeah i need to take this ponytail out because it's tired <laughs> i'm tired of it if it's not tired but like i really want to take this out i just don't know what i want to do to my hair i need a haircut so i don't really want to wear it down because my ends are like very split right now and I know it won't look the best so I'm kind of trying to go into some braids until I can get a haircut <sighs> maybe I could just book a haircut but like low key I don't be feeling like paying for haircuts because my mom does hair and she cuts my hair very 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 well so I'm like I could go to her and get it for free but I would have to buy a flight which would be like the cost of a haircut from somebody else 
but then again from somebody else I would have to hope that they cut my hair correctly to my liking because some stylists do what they want especially when it comes to natural hair and I really trust how I'm so I don't know but I'm so sleepy right now y'all I really wish I could just go to bed I'm like I'm listening to some worship music so I'm about to play that and then I'll see y'all when I get there Last vlog, I got so many comments about how high my energy was and just how happy I was throughout the entire vlog. And it was so true. Like, I was so happy in D.C. But, like, this vlog, it's raining and I'm back home and I'm just so <laughs> sleepy. So, I'm a little bit lower energy, but I'm going to try to perk up for y'all, okay? I'm going to try to perk up because last vlog, I was so freaking happy. Like, I was giddy. Okay, we made it here. I'm about to get out. But I don't know why I say, like, keep saying Ikea for a dresser. I just know that I can find something, like inexpensive and like easy if that makes sense so i'm gonna have to go in here and see what i can find i know they have like little cute home stuff so maybe i find like some more stuff for the kitchen or whatever i don't know if that's a parking spot i sure to god hope it is but i'm gonna leave the car right there we're gonna see if it's there when i get back <laughs> I went ahead and grabbed one of these for the couch. I have not one of these, but a woven blanket, but it's getting a little dingy. So this is like a good option um, for the couch because I like to keep it neutral. I have that in my bag right here. And then let's see what's over here. Maybe this one is actually better for the couch. Ooh, yeah, I like this one. This one's pretty. Let's see how much this one is. That one's 40 and then the one I have in my bag is 25. I don't know. Oh, Juno gonna have a field day with this year. We won't get this one. We'll get the one in my bag. That one's cute though. Hmm. So it's between these two for the couch. I think this one will match better, but I think that Juno would tear these little twills apart. Um, whereas this one's a little bit better made. So probably this one. But I don't know. They're both really cute. dressers over here um i used to have a mom in my old apartment so i'm thinking a three drawer one because that one's far too large so i'm thinking this one the one i'm gonna get it is 150 which i think is a little absurd no is it just me i don't know 150 seems a bit pricey for ikea but i'll go ahead and go with that one. Oh, this one's 150 and it's six drawers it's the cullen one hmm can this fit in the closet Shh, i should probably do this one because then i'll have room to grow and buy more stuff this one's also 150. this is a great place if you want any glass jars because look those are 349. i have plenty of them i don't need any more i don't think but i keep like all my pasta and rice and things like this so this is a good place if you want to organize your kitchen in a cute way artificial trees here if you're looking for some that one's only like 65 gorgeous for like an office or a living room and they have these this one that one looks really fake that one looks good to be 64 dollars if i ever want to move the mirror out of the living room maybe i'll put a fake plant this time instead of a real plant this is the um, the dresser, but y'all know me and my strength. I had to get somebody to go get something to put it on. He's on his way back, but this is what we're gonna get. Thank you. 
Thank you. Okay, next order of business, getting it in the car. So I think I'm just put it on the back seat. Easy smeezy. Let me set the phone up so y'all can watch me struggle. Or I mean the camera. y'all i'm home but like i said i could not lift that dresser so i have to go get a cart from the office so let's go do that okay i did it and it wasn't so bad so let's take this inside and then return this cart and i don't know if we're gonna build this right now but we'll see i got that cart from the leasing office i figured i should use it to take those drawers so i ended up taking all the clothes out of those drawers and then using the cart to take the drawers to like the little trash room or whatever. Um, so now I'm back in my unit. I'll show you guys what I, oh, I forgot to tell y'all. I got these pillow inserts because Juno tore a hole in my couch pillow. I bought one from Home Goods, but I returned it because I didn't like it. So I bought these inserts and these covers because I know it's gonna go really well with the couch over here. Um, so I only have one pillow now because he tore a hole in another one. So I had to throw it away. And it looks like he he pretty much did this one too. Don't worry, I got him real good for it. Don't worry about that part. Um, but we got some new ones to go for this because obviously I can't get any more of those because those came with the couch. So Ikea came in clutch today. I don't think I'm gonna build this stuff tonight, but then again, I don't know. Like I might get some energy. But as for right now, it's giving and take a nap. So <laughs> I'm gonna watch that last after episode of that um, Queen Charlotte stuff. And then I'm about to fall asleep. I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna eat, and then we're gonna see if we're gonna put this dress today together today or tomorrow because tomorrow I know I gotta take Juno to get a haircut. So technically while he's getting groomed, I could um put it together. Or I could just put it together tonight because I'm tired of looking at my closet how it is. Watch this. Let me show y'all what the closet looking like now. So I took all those clothes out, but now there's a pile of clothes over there with another little tiny dresser. So we we need to get this together like tonight. <laughs> So let's do that. Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Okay, so today on the agenda, we're going to talk about last night first. Uh, I took a nap and then I woke up. Juno, you know, it's okay. I took a nap. I woke up and I did not put that stuff together. It's still sitting there. I'll do it today. Don't worry. Okay, so um, today we have to take Juno to his groomer appointment. He's getting a nice little haircut. So we're about to do that soon. That's at 1.45. It's like 10.45 right now. But in the meantime, we're about to do a little Sunday reset because I need to clean up um, a little bit. I need to make my bed because that's unmade here. Um, and then obviously I need to vacuum and wipe down some surfaces. So we're about to do that. And we should be able to finish that before Juno's appointment. And then if I have any spare time, I'm going to put together that dresser and start to do some work in the closet. But if I don't have any spare time, we're either going to do it after we pick Juno up or while he's there. Because while he's there, I usually like go around to stores and stuff and I kind of need some groceries. So we may end up doing that. But if I don't do that, then I'll come back home and I'll put this together and I'll get to work in the closet. But in the meantime, we're about to clean up the rest of the house and make some breakfast. I already took Juno outside. I did some skincare, took a shower. I put on the outfit that I'm gonna wear from the waist up. From the waist down, I'm wearing sweatpants, but I am gonna wear this white top today. I probably either wear leggings or a different pair of sweatpants. So we've already done our morning routine. I just need to eat and clean and then we can get out of here. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead and make my bed first. So get the iPad off. I'm an iPad kid. I was watching, I, I was watching Netflix before I went to sleep last night. Pillows on the bed now. This reminds me when I posted a picture of my new bed on my Instagram story. Some guy slid up and was like, "Why do females put so many bed, so many pillows, so much pillows on their bed?" First of all, I'm a woman, not a female, and as women, we do what we want. That's why. You thought that was a good talking point? You thought, why do females put so much pillows on their bed was a good talking point? Buddy, buckaroo, I'm here to tell you it wasn't. Let 
like pillows are for decoration and comfort but mostly decoration and then I'll put as many as I want on my bed bed is done let's go ahead and move out of here get to the living room and start that just how I like it so nice good vacuum lines in the couch I am done in here but now we're about to move over to the kitchen I just need to wipe down the surfaces and stuff and then run the dishwasher <laughs>
took the trash out in here. That's some bath salt, if anybody was wondering. Uh, I don't know if I've ever actually showed y'all the entire bathroom. Like, I know I'm always filming in the mirror, but that's... The kitchen is nice and clean, nice and wiped down. All my surfaces are good. And then the living room is nice and vacuumed, and it smells delicious in here. Um, I've also never shown, like, this little stuff on YouTube stuff. So, I keep all my cords and stuff tucked away in there even though you can kind of see it and then these are my little living room decorations and yeah it's all clean so i'm about to go ahead and get ready and then take juno on to his appointment and the flowers this week are hydrangeas uh, i think i got these like i, want, I don't even know if it was midweek or just the beginning of the last my room now so let's just go ahead and do something super 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 light um before we head out for the day this is the glossier future do i just put on my cheeks i love this stuff I'm so glad the girl in the store convinced me to buy this because it's like um, his groomer actually called me like 20 minutes ago and said that he could come early. So I am trying to get out of here. I'm also watching Sunday service. So refreshing. NARS Creamy Radiant, of course. I'm just looking in this mirror below me. And then I'm going to use some... Um, some essence keep me covered because it's a little bit brighter and I like that bright look. Let that sit for a while. While that's sitting, I'm gonna do some mascara. Actually, while we're here, we'll do a little bit of blush too. Why not? Why not look pretty? Now we'll go out with some setting spray. That's all we're gonna do for the makeup. I'm gonna just put a little bit of my Laneige lip sleeping mask on. Put a bra on, change my pants. I might end up wearing sweatpants because I think I'm coming back home. Uh, but even if I don't, they'll, they're still cute sweatpants. Uh, I'll show y'all and then we gonna get out of here. Y'all look at this Instagram post. That says 4,237 likes. Is that not insane? And it just keeps changing. Like when I went to sleep, this post had 1,000 likes. Every time I refresh it by the second, there's more likes. And I'm dumb confused. But maybe the maybe this is just getting pushed on people's algorithms. It's very odd, but hey. We're about to head out, but I just wanted to show y'all my outfit. I don't know why I do this every time, but I think y'all enjoy it, right? But anyways, this is the Aritzia TNA long sleeve ribbed in white. Um, these are the Aritzia TNA cargo sweats. When I tell you these are like probably one of the best thing Aritzia has. I have I have like four pair now. They're absolutely beautiful. And then Nike Vomeros, of course. Like I said, we're going to wear them off the bone. I don't have time to change my bag, so we're just going to keep this bag from... Honestly, I'll wear this bag all the time. Let's be, let's be for real. Um, and then, yeah, let's go ahead and get out of here. Juno, you ready? All right, let's go. I right hear I'm about to walk him inside. He's being a menace because he knows where he is. And he loves it here for whatever reason. But let's go in here. I was able to get Juno inside safely, so it's time to go. I'm not going to go home. Uh, it is Mother's Day today, but for those of you who don't know, I don't live in the same state as my mom. I'm in Philly. She's in Michigan. Uh, I moved out like when I left undergrad, um, so I don't get to see her as much as I would prefer, but I just got off the phone with her, um, and I know I'm a little late. Today is Mother's Day, um, so we're about to go get her a bunch of stuff and then mail it off tomorrow to her. Um, she doesn't care. She doesn't even want anything. She just wanted a phone call. That was honestly good enough for her. But we're about to spoil her and get a little bit of things. Or maybe a lot of bit of things. We're going to go to Ulta because she's very much into makeup like I am. Uh, and then we're probably going to go to the mall and get her a pair of sneakers. Because she always comments on my sneakers and she loves sneakers. So we're about to go do that. And then we'll mail it off to her in the morning since today is Sunday. Uh, so yeah, let's go to Ulta first. See what we can find for her. All right, I made it to Ulta. Technically, she will see this vlog before she gets all this stuff. But she's not going to care. Like, she's going to be like, ooh, I'm, I'm glad to be able to receive that email. She's really not going to care. So, um, hey, mom, if you're watching this, I'm about to pick you out some stuff. She be watching my vlogs diligently, so she's definitely about to watch this. Um, she won't care. So she should get it probably, like, Tuesday, hopefully. But, yeah, let's go in here and see what we can find for her. They have this um, aloe solution now from The Ordinary. I think I'm going to get this for myself. We should get a little basket because i can tell i'm about to be in here for a little bit so let's get this I went ahead and got two of these because she loves like orange and red lips so got two of those she always is always trying um 
like lip products, but never likes them. So hopefully she might like these. Might like these. Um, and then she's really into skincare also. So I think I'm gonna find her a new cleanser, but we might have to go to Sephora because I want her to try the Youth to the People cleanser. And they only have that there. So we need to go to Sephora. Super large section of the ordinary products, but she just let me know that she would rather have a pair of sneakers and that she doesn't need any more makeup. But I'm still gonna buy stuff. I don't care. I really want her to try to Juvia's Place blush, but she's like, no, I don't want any more blush. Oh, what's this? Then I'm gonna get some more of this. This is like the best mascara ever. Oh, it's $14.99. I was on live telling y'all it was under $10, but apparently it's $14.99. This one's $12.99. They have a waterproof one. This is like the best mascara ever. We are leaving Ulta. Um, where I am right now has a bunch of like stores and restaurants and stuff. So I wanna walk around and just see the stuff because I'm never like actually walking around here. But I figure I'll do that on my way back. I'm just about to go to the mall right now. And then on the way back, I'll just walk around. And then I'll eat some lunch out here too. Because I'm hungry. So I'll go to the mall. Then I'll come right back, walk around, go to the stores, eat some lunch. And then Juno should be ready by then. And I forgot to mention, because a lot of you ask me what kind of haircut Juno gets. When I take him in, um, the groomer has groomed him since he was a baby. Like, she's the only person who's ever cut his hair. Um, so usually when I walk in, I just say the usual. <laughs> But when I first started going, I always asked for a mini schnauzer cut, like a traditional schnauzer cut. And then I asked for a tin blade on his back and then just to trim up his skirt. Um, but yeah, Juno has that like low back and then long skirt look. That's the look that I love prefer like personally. And that's the uh, traditional schnauzer cut. But when I go in, I usually just say, we'll take the usual and then remind her that I want a 10 blade on his back instead of like a seven because a 10 blade tends to grow back a lot. Like, like he can stretch his haircuts if I get a 10 blade instead of a seven. But even at this rate, we still go about once every four to six weeks, so. I made it to the mall. Um, we're definitely about to find my mom some sneakers, but I've been really thinking about that Aritzia TNA skirt, that little tennis skirt. So I might have to grab that if they have my size. They usually never do. So let's go in there and see if they have my size. Honestly, I need to stay out of Aritzia because we was just shopping last week, but I mean, I guess we'll see. You never see a sale in Aritzia, so I had to get those. They were literally $39 a piece, so I had to grab those. I didn't get the skirt because I feel like I can get that on Amazon for like 20 bucks, whereas theirs is like 70. As much as I advocate for Aritzia, I don't know if I advocate for spending $70 on a skirt that you could easily find um, on Amazon. So we're about to go to Uniqlo, and then we're gonna go back to the area that Juno's in. And yes, I'll be vlogging so hard in public. Like, people are all around me, but I literally, I just can't care anymore. This is Uniqlo. It's my newest obsession, honestly. Like, they have the best basics. Okay, I'm in the car. I also got some pretzels and I was eating them on the way out. They be banging, but I'm so hungry for some real food. Like, um, the area that Juno's in got so much food. There's a kava, there's a vegan pizza spot that I love to eat at. There's so much over there. So I think I'm gonna go park, walk around, catch some vibes, and then maybe eat some pizza outside because I'm so craving pizza right now. Like, you have no idea. So let's get back over there. Wait on him. What time is it? Okay. He might be almost ready, so I think we're doing good. Neglected to eat today. I don't want that piece. I want this piece. I wonder if people ever walk past me and be like, why are you talking to yourself? Oh. Mm. Now, it's not better than the one in Georgetown, but it's still here. All right, I'm done with the pizza. 
I still have it. I'll have leftovers, but I decided that I'll just go watch Juno get his haircut on the table from the glass. Maybe that'll inspire them to hurry up because honestly, I want to go home at this point. So I'm just about to go down there and just watch him get his haircut through the window. All right, I'm here waiting on Juno. They're not done, um, but she did give me the receipt. So I'm just going to go up to the front and pay for it and then sit back here some more. And Juno gets his haircut at Petsmart. I know a lot of people are against it. I was against it at first, but I bought him here when he was a puppy and we've never stopped coming. His groomer is absolutely amazing. This Petsmart specifically, um, they've never done anything wrong by Juno. I've never sensed anything off about it at all. So we're gonna keep coming here until forever because this groomer is the truth. Like she know how to cut some dog here and Juno loves her and he does amazing every time. So I figure if I find somebody good, I should not switch it up. Um, but be careful if you do take your dog to any pet smart, pet code, things like that. Um, just make sure, you know, everything is good. If you have a dog here in the same area that I'm in, uh, I'm like 15 minutes from home, but if you're in the Collegeville, Pennsylvania area, I will 100% recommend the Collegeville Pet Smart, specifically Trinity at the Collegeville Pet Smart. She cuts Juno's hair and she does incredible. Hi, hi, sweet boy. Look at you. Junie. Junie B, you look so good, sweetie. Juno, say hi. Okay, we'll see y'all when we get in the car. There he goes. Say, show your face. There he goes. Oh, Juno. This is Juno's haircut, y'all. He don't want to look at the camera for whatever. Look how proper this guy is. Like, you gotta love a mini schnauzer. Look at that stance. Show dog. Juno, you wanna go home? Are right, we going home. I just wanted to show them how handsome you look, buddy. You look so good. I made it back home, but I just wanted to show you guys what I got from Aritzia. Because I could not pass up on two jumpsuits. $39 a piece. Like, are you kidding? These are TNA jumpsuits, y'all. Let me turn the light on. Like, are you joking? I got this color because I've been craving this color. And look, the best part is the back is like crossed in the back and then it'll have like a hole where your back is. That would be, are you kidding? Like, this is so cute. So now I got me a taupe brown jumpsuit and of course I had to get black. I'm obsessed. I was looking for a jumpsuit with shorts that isn't long sleeves because y'all know I got the long sleeve one last week. So this is gonna be adorable. The cross back is so freaking cute. I had to show all this, but everything else I pretty much left in the car because I'm mailing it off tomorrow to my mom. So that's pretty much it. But since I'm back home and unpacked everything, um. I ended up leaving my camera charger in the car, so I have to go get that. But I'm about to put this dresser together, or at least I'm about to take everything out the box. Then I might take Juno on a little walk and then come back and build it for the night and then organize the closet. And then I also need to wash my hair because I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. I'm getting some braids in the morning. Um, see, I would film that for YouTube, but if I do, the vlog can't go up till Tuesday. And I've been committed to uploading on Monday. So I'm probably just going to film it for TikTok instead. So then y'all can just watch my TikTok about me getting my hair braided. Um, because I don't want the vlog to go up late for y'all. But yeah. So let's just go ahead and get all this stuff rolling so we can lay down after. I'm just here in the hallway. Um, so yeah, let's just, let's just bang this out. Hopefully I finish tonight. I'm also talking to my mom on the phone. What'd you say, Mom?
shopping tonight. I need to get to washing my hair and it's like almost 10 o'clock. So I built basically the shell of the dress. So the only thing that's left is the drawers and I can do that after I get back from getting my hair braided tomorrow. So yeah, that's where we are. Honestly, I'm about to get some, Juno, you, know, you left your bandana on the floor. You don't see that right there on my floor? Well, anyways, um, I'm about to go ahead and hop in the shower and wash my hair. So this is where I'll leave y'all. This is the end of another vlog. I absolutely love vlogging lately. Like it's become my personality, I feel like almost. But yeah, I very much enjoy this like crazy. And then I'm also going to start editing this vlog so you guys can watch it tomorrow, which will be Monday. Uh, I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. I had a pretty good weekend. Not too much, not doing too much. Keep keeping it mellow this weekend. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog, had a good weekend. And then until next time, I'll see y'all.